welcome inside our ACC Digital Network studios. Kyle Montgomery alongside former Pro Bowler, former Super Bowl champ, and former Georgia Tech stud Dorsey Levins. His 21st ranked Yellow Jackets in action in a big one with the NC State Wolfpack visiting on Saturday. The Wolfpack with their work cut out for facing that potent Yellow Jacket offense led by Paul Johnson. Leading the country in total yards, points, and overall touchdowns. Not sure if they, they lead in trick plays, but they pull one off early, fourth and ten. We don't know much about Paul Johnson. You'll find out quickly that he's a risk taker. Jameer Thomas with the 27-yard game. Later in the drive, Orwin Smith averaging 18 per touch this year. 13 yards out. Hurt his average just a bit, but he gets in the end zone. Sophomore from Phoenix City had a big game. Later in the first, same score. Tevin Washington, deep pass to Stephen Hill. They've been hooking up this year. 40 yards. Watson, though, a fairly tough day for him. 117 through the air. Did throw for two touchdowns. Second and goal now. Smith, nine yards out. His second TD of the day. Tech up 14 0. Paul Johnson and company looking good. First play of the second quarter. Tech threatening again. Washington, nine yard TD pass to David Sims. Sims' first catch of the season makes it count. 21-0, this one's circus ugly at this point, but then Tevin starts struggling with that accuracy. Georgia Tech unstoppable on offense up until this point, they stop themselves. Later in the second, same score. Glennon showing Tevin uh, how to get the job done. Strike on the slant to Jay Smith for the TD. NC State on the board. Second half we go. Tevin once again on the rollout, struggling to find his target. Just overthrows this one. You know, this is the pass that Tevin usually makes those receivers wide open down the football field. When this triple option attack is hitting on all cylinders, you cannot stop the run and cover the guys downfield. Moving, moving forward down the line, these guys will get this ironed out, and we'll see the old Georgia Tech we've seen putting up 600 total yards a game. All right, ensuing drive, NC State ball. James Washington, see you later. 46 yards to the house, 131 on the ground on 20 carries for him. He was balling, fourth quarter, same score, not for long. Orwin Smith, two-yard TD, his third of the day, puts Tech up 28-14. to 14. NC State trying to make a comeback, and this wouldn't help. This is not going to help at all. Up until this point, NC State doing a great job of figuring out the triple option, slowing down Georgia Tech's offense. Glennon, blitz coming. And throws underneath, intercepted. Isaiah Johnson with a pick. Isaiah Johnson, 10-5, touchdown. A 34-yard interception return. That is a dagger. That would seal the deal. Georgia Tech goes on to win it 45-35. to The Yellow Jackets moved to 5-0 for the first time since 1990. Thanks in large part to the three touchdown effort from Orwin Smith. Tech's 296 on the ground overall, nearly 100 less than their season average. They also didn't get a great game from Tevin Washington, but they did get the win and that's what counts. But here's Paul Johnson talking about the play of his quarterback after the game. He was just off. I mean, we had some guys that were that were running free and had a lot of chances early on, but uh, today wasn't one of his better games. He's been efficient up until today. Paul, this was our first chance to see Orwin Smith in person. That is a spectacular running back. Yes, he's a really good player. He's played well for us all year, and, uh, you know, hopefully we can keep it going. You know, all in all, we, we're lucky we came out with a win. That's all you can care about, but we got to play better than this. All right, so that was Paul Johnson. Clearly, uh, he recognized the struggles of Tevin Washington, but he knows that, that he'll be able to pick it up next week. Now, now as for this game, uh, NC State was it was within reach heading into the fourth quarter, just a two touchdown game, but there was a big interception and, and that was the difference. It really was. I thought that changed the momentum because up until that point, I thought Georgia Tech won the first quarter, but lost the second and third quarter because mm -hmm. I thought NC State had picked up some momentum and some confidence. That interception took the sale out of their wins and it was a wrap after that. Okay, uh, I guess we have to address this and I, I hope you can give me an honest answer, even though you're Georgia Tech alum. We'll see. 5-0 uh, and oh now, are they the real deal? We are the real deal. As of today, right now, October 1st, we are the real deal. Now, ask right. me in about five weeks, I may have a different answer. <laughs> but right now, we're the real deal. We still got some football to play. Okay, for Dorsey Levins, I'm Kyle Montgomery. That's going to do it for us for now here on the ACC Digital Network.